Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I'm going to try to fix up the International Space Station that I had started to build in the initial release into early access of Kerbal Space Program 2. That station had a problem with the forward docking port on Destiny module not wanting to allow Harmony to dock to it. And so we're going to replace the Destiny module on the station with a new one, hoping that that will fix the docking port problem and allow us to proceed. Now, this is a not fresh save, this is a save from the initial version of KSP2, and so it might have lingering problems that a fresh save would not. And of course, we have also tested out the shuttle somewhat uh, in this version and found that it had differences in the way it reacted compared to the initial version that we had when building the International Space Station. So I've tried to fix up the wings, but it's still a little bit iffy. So as far as the shuttle's survivability is concerned, I'm not sure. Uh, we've decided to use medium wings on both the inner and outer portions as opposed to the lightweight wings on the inside and medium wings on the outside that we had on the in original version of the shuttle that I used for the ISS construction. And there's bound to be other things. So, yes, we have the Destiny module in the bay right now. I've called the mission STS-98B uh, because STS-98 STS was the original mission that delivered the Destiny module and... I just went with B uh, as a plan B kind of thing. And we will see which Kerbals we have. We have Bill. I'm only going to send Bill because this is risky. Well, it's always risky, but I think we'll just stick to Bill. And we will try this out. A little bit underfueled, so we'll have to use the mop propellant in the nose of the external tank to top us off. I forgot to adjust that. That seems about right. Okay, well, I'm tempted to move the boosters into the first slot just so we don't have the dip. Maybe in this version we'll just avoid the dip. It's not supposed to dip anyway, but... And the boosters are supposed to light when the launch clamps release, but... We'll do it this way. Okay. Still have a sidestep though. Uh, it's very sideways. Oh, it's it's much more sideways than I'm, I was expecting. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is this is not handling very well this time. I thought we had even done the launch test with it. Maybe it's just the save. It doesn't like the new shuttle. I don't know. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Uh, Alright, getting ready for booster set. Booster set. It'll still be wiggly until like 30 kilometers, and we're quite a bit off from our target right now. All that deviation will not cause us to fail to make orbit, uh, as long as I can control this darn thing. But yeah, I'll have to reevaluate the balance of the shuttle. We need to go south quite a bit more. We have more extra inclination than I would like. But we're gonna have to dump the external tank soon here. We're going a little bit high. Okay, we'll, we'll stop it there. Let's use the resource manager to move the mount propellant. Okay, separation and avoidance. I'll open the cargo bay. It's the exact same destiny module that we had before. I just merged it in. So, no difference as far as the setup of the destiny module. I was satisfied with it. Okay, well, we've got sort of a close approach there. Maybe just an inclination change will fix that. Okay, we sort of hit a minimum right below one kilometer. Now, of course, when we remove the existing Destiny module, that might mess up the docking port it's currently docked to. 
and on the Unity module, and we might be back to square one with that. Uh, it depends on whether that works or not. And we'll see whether the Destiny module spins out of control. Again, it might be because of the save rather than because of the new patch. It might just be the save that would cause the Destiny module to go out of control, but we'll see. You know, that is what the experiment is. It is all an experiment. Can we fix it, is the question. Okay, slowing down as we get our close approach. This is about as close as I want this to the station. Okay, that's good enough for me. Switching over to the station. We have to remove the previous module, which may cause problems. But first we need to make sure it has the fuel to deorbit itself. I swear somehow we got more fuel than we had displayed there. And in fact it shows 1.19 tons of mop propellant now. Maybe it's just the hidden fuel coming back, I don't know. Again, it's also a weird save, so let's just ignore that. Do not assume that that is a current bug. It may be the manifestation of a bug of times gone by. Okay. This module is free. And in control. Oh, but, well, it... I swear it showed that it had 0.8 tons, but now it's got 0.39, which is what I transferred, so... Well, apparently it got the fuel that it was supposed to, and not what it showed in the resource manager. Anyway, complicated. Uh, okay, we've got a problem. The nav ball isn't showing what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's got problems. Tracking station. It's that spinny problem. Oh, this is now... Oh, we might have the problem again because... Because this is now called default name, whereas that was supposed to be called default name. And now this has 0.8 tons of mod <laughs> I think that's not going to work out for us. I should have made sure it was controlling from that. The station was controlling from that side. It shouldn't have been controlling from here anyway, but... Okay, I had saved the shuttle state prior to approach, so we're getting a new approach here. And we'll try it again a little bit more carefully. I expect that the Destiny module is going to spin out of control or try to. And then we might have to quit and come back in to stabilize it. But we want the station to remain combined 20. Previous testing showed that that was important to make sure that the new docking, the docking port that we're freeing up continues to be accessible. Alright, switching over. We'll control from the docking port on Unity. Maybe we should should just control from a docking port that isn't even related to the situation, because that's the docking port we're docking to. Let's just control from the one on Zarya. But then, even though we're only transferring... Oh, it actually did the right amount this time. But I think it's still combined, uh, calling this combine 20. Yeah, this is default name 8. Uh Why? I controlled from Zarya. This shouldn't be combined 20. We'll try it though. Let's see what happens in this case. Well, it's turning without uh, indicating on the nav ball, so we know that's a problem. I'll restart and see if it stabilizes and it's properly controllable. We'll go to the tracking station first. And then we'll proceed, and maybe the docking port's available, maybe not. No matter what, we'll be testing the shuttle re-entry again. So we'll learn something about the shuttle, which is important. And whether it's in good shape, or whether it needs for tweaks. So there's always that. If nothing else works, we'll see how the shuttle works. Okay, we are back with the Destiny module now. And... let's see, retrograde. I just want the nav ball to represent its orientation properly. It seems okay now. 
remember, we're just getting rid of this one. This is the quote unquote easy part, maybe? And unfortunately, it's carrying the name with it. Which means that the docking port there right now might be busted too now. This module doesn't say how much mod propellant it has up there. Or electric charge. So there's some weirdness about it. Well, we're pushing away, but I don't know how much more RCS fuel we have. Let me try and cycle through everything. Well, now we can see the mod propellant on here in theory. And we do still have most of it, so we can continue to deorbit. I think spin stabilizing it makes it a little bit more efficient, otherwise it spends so much time puffing the RCS thrusters in other directions the SAS does. Okay, hopefully that should take care of it. And, well, station is here. And the shuttle is here. Alright, I should save. And let's see if we can move the replacement module to it. Okay, okay, SAS is doing all sorts of things I don't want. I don't know, somehow it was sort of holding the two-target orientation even though I didn't want that. Well, we docked at the worst possible angle, but we docked. Um, yeah. Not, not a docking that I would like to publicized, but um, it worked. Uh, yeah, uh, j just a review on the settings. General was in general. Uh, oh, the tolerance distance for docking I've got way up. Whoops. Let me turn that back down again. Okay, but it helped this time. I don't know why I had it up in the, uh, for this. Maybe it was during testing, trying things out to save the module. But okay. Well, the important thing is we got it docked. And we will never do a docking that bad again. So, yeah. There's hope. Uh, the rotation of the module isn't great. You know what? Uh, as, as atonement, I might regret this. No, if I undock it and dock it again, it's probably going to be all messed up, right? I mean, it's, it's turned a little bit, though. Th those rungs should be on top. Oh... It doesn't matter. <laughs> we, we'll we take it, we'll take it and hope that that docking port can dock to a Harmony module later on and it'll just be slightly messed up. Perhaps in a version where I have more faith that things are not gonna be messed up, I'll just do it all over again. But for now, let's just run with this and then we'll try to, in a subsequent video, get the Harmony module to it and then maybe we can finish this thing. But for now, we have a shuttle to attend to. So once again, it has the weird thing where it's showing the target go... Well, that's not the target anymore. That's not Combined 9, what is now the International Space Station that we should not be targeting at all. Actually, I don't think we are targeting anything at all. It's just lying about it. But let us get into a lower orbit. Okay, we are in our standby orbit, but the timing might be a little bit off. I'll still try to come down on the next orbit, but we'll probably have to do an inclination correction. I think we have to fuel for it. Uh, we'll do that inclination correction at about 80 kilometers altitude. Retro burn. Yeah, we'll have to tilt our orbit further south. We're already directly in line, but by the time we get there, the planet will have rotated. Well, I haven't turned as much as I would like, but we need to actually go prograde now. We're about to enter the atmosphere. So I didn't get far enough south. We'll see how it goes. We'll just start turning right immediately. Well, we're a little bit heavy right now, so I'll just run the engines a bit. While we are higher up, and they're more effective. 
Otherwise, we probably don't need to slow down too much. We're basically on track. Could even pitch down a bit. Again, rebalancing. I moved the wing back, so I don't know how much of that I need to do. And we're essentially out of fuel. That's the end of that. Oh, it's flipping immediately. Gosh. Uh, I'm trying to nose down. It looks like we were using a lot of RCS to hold it. We flew it. But it sure doesn't act like... Act the way that it did while we flew it. Only I was supposed to land like a starship. Oop! Oh, I can't see. Uh. Oh. Oh. Well, Bill got lucky. But I don't know what's going on with the shuttle. We tested with the jet engines. We flew it down in the condition that it is in at the end of this, basically. And I've moved the wings back in an attempt to make it nose heavy, but it still seems tail heavy. Guess it's okay that Bill is alive, but yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled right now. We've got the module on the station. I guess we'll see what we can do with that. The net result is that the station is the way it was when we began, but we we're hoping that the forward docking port is accessible, and we'll only find out whether it is or not in the next video. But the next video will be pending whether I can fix the shell or not, because it sure doesn't seem fixed at the moment. So I will examine that further. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.